Yo, what's up? So in today's video, I'll be doing a crazy boost. It's one of my biggest boosts ever, and the new update also helped me a lot. And I'll be going through uh, like a uh, brief explanations of what it, what the boost looks like and uh, how you can also boost as a red hive. All right, boom! Now I'm gonna I'm gonna boost. I'm gonna boost. I'm gonna boost. All right, come on, give me give me give me paper. Give me paper. Give me paper. Yes, glitter. Before I start the boost, I just want to lay some quick rules slash tips that you might want to need for boosting as a red hive. You're probably wondering, what is all this stuff? And I'll tell you just in a second. So the first one we have is Nectar. Nectar is one of the most crucial items for boosting. If you don't have a good Nectar going, it's gonna be a rough patch for you. And the Nectars you want to get are by the following. Number one is Invigorating, Refreshing, Motivating, Satisfying, and number five is Comforting. These are the Nectars you want to get in order. Next up is Mondo Blessing. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just gotta kill the Mondo Chick. And the faster you kill the Mondo Chick, the more blessing you get. And the next one is Balloon Blessing. Balloon Blessing is also pretty self-explanatory since you need a big balloon, which you convert, which in return gives you Balloon Blessing. Next up is Wealth Club. Now, the Wealth Club buff is pretty easy to get, considering you only have to macro for it. It's a thing you can claim every hour, and it stacks up to 5, and it grants 1.01x honey per pollen. Alright, so the next one is Stingers. Stingers are also a very crucial part of boosting as a red hive, considering that Star Star is the main source of instant conversion. And the amount of stingers you have to get is 120 plus. The next we have on the list is gumdrops. Now, gumdrops are also pretty valid for boosting since the buffs you get are honey per pollen. And it's also great if you want a little more buff to your honey making. And the amount you want to get is 900 plus. Next up is jelly beans. A jelly beans are also very useful since it gives you various buffs and also a sharing buff. And you want to get about 30 plus. Next on the list is cloud vials. Cloud vials are also huge for boosting. The rework on cloud vials gave it a huge buff. Instead of only giving 25% pollen, it gives 25% pollen and 10% unique instant conversion. The amount you want to get is 10. It uses 1 every 3 minutes. 10 times 3 is 30 minutes. And the next one we have is Fuzzy Old. Fuzzy Old is mandatory for boosting since it can give some amazing buffs. Buffs are pollination and frog. And also, if you don't have a fuzzy ult yourself, you can ask one of your friends if they have it because fuzzy ult is very important. Next up is super smoothie and purple potion. So you're gonna wanna get two super smoothies and one purple potion. You need two super smoothies to last a whole 30 minutes and you want to donate one purple potion to the wind shrine. Last but not least, puff blessing. The puff blessing is also very nice considering if you get 100 times puff blessing, it rewards you with 10% unique instant conversion, 10% pollen, and 10% capacity. That was all for the buffs, time to get on with the boosting. But first, a quick word from Anit. Welcome to the Roblox Community Conference. Well, today I must address a small issue. It has come to my attention that many people are wanting Edgemus to come out. I can assure you it will be done as soon as I'm done moving to Skibidi. However, it has come to my attention many betas are edging me for not releasing Edgemus. This has made me very mad and destroyed my edging streak. I have one message for those betas. Try gooning on someone else. <laughs> These are the things you need to do when you're about to boost. You donate one purple potion to the wind shrine, then you use one glitter, then you activate the sticker stack, then you get the honeybee buff, then you use one smoothie, and then you use loaded until you get your field. Before your score shits, you want to first spam precise marks, and then make sure you have your x thing ready. If digital B gives you smiley, wait until you get scorching star for maximum honey making. Now, of course, this clip wasn't perfect, but I'll show you the basics you need to do while you're boosting. So, let's get right into it. When your Scorch hits, you want to be on the lookout for your X-Flame, since it can easily make your Scorch bigger and grow it faster. When your X-Flame hits, you want to wait a few seconds, and then you want to helicopter spin around 360 no scope, and then just get the flame. And then you also want to spam precision from your precise piece, like this. I think you get the basics, so... I'll be back once I've boosted. 